Good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning Bible class. Glad you're joining us. We're continuing our study in Judges and today we were going to talk about four judges. Three of them we know very little about. So let's get started. We're going to start with our Judges song today. Girls sing along with me. Let's sing it. God set judges over Israel, one brave woman, 14 men. They helped Israel fight their battles, led them back to God from sin. Othniel, Ehud, Shamgar, Deborah, Gideon, Abimelech, Tola, Jer, Jephthah, Ibsen, Eli, Abdel, Samson, Eli, Samuel. Good job, girls. All right, let's sing our memory verse song. Ready? Rejoice evermore and pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing. Rejoice evermore and pray without ceasing. Rejoice in the Lord and pray all the time. All right, and let's keep in mind when we pray that God is so big. Shall we sing God is so big? Okay. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his and the valleys are his, and the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. All right. Let's sing the books of the Bible song. We hadn't sung it, them in a couple of weeks. And remember, we sing the books of the Bible because they help. it helps us learn the Bible, learn where to find things in the Bible. All right, y'all ready to sing it with me? All right, let's sing. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First and second Samuel, first and second Kings, first and second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel and Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah and Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. All right, that was the Old Testament. What do we need to sing now? New. The New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and the letter to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. First and second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. All right, let's sing a prayer song. Let's sing, um, Pop the Bottle. Mm -hmm. It isn't any trouble just to P-R-A-Y pray. It isn't any trouble just to P-R-A-Y pray. If ever you're in trouble, it will vanish like a bubble. Pop! If you'll only take the trouble just to P-R-A-Y pray. All right. Let's all bow our heads. Okay. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank you so much for this time that we get to study your Bible. We pray, Father, that you'll help us to study it because we want to be in heaven with you one day and this will help us to get there. Help us to study it, to learn it, to use it in our lives and to teach others so that they can come there be there with us. We thank you for the judges, for the example of the time that people lived in. We pray, Father, that you'll help us to learn from their example, to not make their mistakes, to not worship other things, but to put you first in our lives. Help us now as we study. Help us all to be healthy and help us to be able to come together and be together again one day soon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so today let's talk about Jephthah. Uh, Jephthah is the one judge we'll talk about today that we know quite a bit about. So the Sidonians, the Amalekites, and the Maonites began to oppress Israel. 
And Israel cried out to God, but this time God said, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm not helping you. Uh, he said, go, uh, go cry out to the gods which you have chosen and let them deliver you in your time of distress. So we see here that Israel, even though they cried out to God, they hadn't yet turned from the other gods. So in verse 15, I'm in Judges chapter 10, verse 15, it says, And the children of Israel said to the Lord, We have sinned. Okay, so that's the first step in repentance. Do to us whatever seems best to you, only deliver us this day, we pray. So they put away the foreign gods. There's the next step. To repentance repentance is not good enough unless we change our ways and once we acknowledge we're we're sinning that's the first step we acknowledge we're sinning and then we have to put away that sin and so that's what they did they put away the sin of serving and um, worshiping these foreign gods okay and so then it says and his soul could no longer endure the misery of Israel so God could no longer stand hearing his people crying out before he was hardened to it he didn't want to listen to it but now that they've repented both acknowledged their sin and turned away from it now God realizes um, that he needs to help them now is his time that he will help them so he raises up another judge this is Jephthah the Gileadite in chapter 11 verse 1 it says now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor but he was the son of a harlot, and Gilead begot Jephthah. Okay? Uh, so Gilead was this harlot woman. Um, I mean, he was the man. It says Gilead's wife bore sons. So Gilead was the man, his father. All right? So Jephthah went out to war to defend Israel. And he asked God, he said, if you will help deliver me from this, I will give you the first thing that comes out of my house to greet me when I get home. He, that he would sacrifice it to God. So God helps him win the battle and he goes home and the first thing that meets him is his daughter. Now we're not exactly told how he did, he did honor his vow to God, but we're not told exactly how. Some people think that he just didn't give his daughter to, in marriage. Some people think that he actually killed her. We don't know. Um, we do know that he honored his vow to God. Okay. Um, then, after Jephthah judged Israel for six years, he died. After him, Ibzon, this is um, in chapter 12, Judges chapter 12, verse 7 tells us about um, Jephthah dying. Verse 8, after him, Ibzan of Bethlehem judged Israel. He had 30 sons, and he gave away 30 daughters in marriage and brought in 30 daughters from elsewhere for his sons. He judged Israel for seven years. Then Ibzan died and was buried in Bethlehem. After him, Elon the Zebulonite judged Israel. He judged Israel 10 years. And Elon the Zebulonite died and was buried at Aijalon in the country of Zebulun. After him, Abdon, the son of Heliel, the Purithonite, Purithonite, judged Israel. He had 40 sons and 30 grandsons who rode on 70 young donkeys. He judged Israel eight years. Then Abdon, the son of Heliel, the Purithonite, died and was buried, buried in Purithon in the land of Ephraim in the mountains of the Amalekites. So that's all we're told about Ibzon, Elon, and Abdon. So let's make our little list of our judges here that we've talked about today. We're going to put Jephthah first. Make sure I spell his name right. Okay, so we have Jephthah first. What was the big thing we talked about he had? What did he do when he was out in battle? He made a vow to God. He made a vow to God. The first thing he stepped out of his house was uh, And let's put he kept it, right? Yeah. And the first thing that came God honored the vow and so he kept it. 
All right, and let's say, let's see, he, he judged Israel. Do you remember how many years? Six years. Okay, so he judged Israel six years. After him, who came next? Do you remember? judged Israel seven years. And Ibzan had 30 sons and 30 daughters. We can put that as a fact. One more fact. 60 back. children. And then we had, do you remember who came next? Elon. Why didn't I think of that? I think my girls are still asleep today. And he judged uh, 10 years. Okay? Wow. So he judged for 10 years. How old was he when he started judging? And we're not told anything else about um, him except that he was a Zebulonite and where he was buried. All right. Uh, who was next? Abdon. Abdon. Yay, I got it right. Good job, Hannah. All right, and he judged Israel eight years. He had 40 sons and 30 grandsons who rode on 70 donkeys. Judged for how many years did I say? Sit back, Hannah. Eight. Eight years. Our friends at home need to be able to see the board if they can read it. Um. He judged eight years. And we'll put he had 40 sons. Is this the last one? And 30 grandsons. This is the last one for today. Let's talk just a minute about our plan. So um, we'll spend uh, some time studying Samson soon. I may do one or two lessons on Samson. And then we'll do, look at my plan. So we have Samson, Eli, Samuel. So. We'll probably spend a day on Eli and Samuel, and maybe we'll break up Samson into two. So we're looking at the end of our judges lesson soon. I want to hear from you. Uh, have your moms message me somehow or another, and give me a suggestion on what you'd like to study next, and I'll take that into consideration. So thanks for joining us today. Bye. All right, girls.